Yes, we are beginning. Hi. <laughs> oh, mm. I've been, I've been, I could not wait. I could not wait. I had to watch the newest Ender episode. That's why I'm a bit late today. I could not wait. Also because if I left it until the evening, then there would be maybe no evening screen. So I thought I'm gonna get this out of the way quickly so we can move on to, 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 to job things. Here we are, here we go again, here we go again. It's good, it's good. Bloop. Good. Good. Just checking things out. Uh, already, I'm maybe a bit too hot in this today. I'm gonna have to look. Okay, so this looks cool. I wrote down I wanted to make bubbles and background waves. That's something I want to be do dealing with today. I also want to do predefined bubble sizes for the main menu, uh, for the start screen. Um, Music volume and dampen menu. We will dampen the menu music maybe in a, in a menu. Uh, I don't think I will be messing around with the music volume too much. Uh, I'd rather create a version that uh, Groover Music can test out and then he can change the volume levels of the music himself. Uh, so I'd rather move on then to finishing the level, like to m make it possible to finish a level uh, there's going to be music that will play out, maybe some kind of uh, some kind of UI, and then I'm gonna oh yeah, reset, restart. Yeah, yeah, we wanted to add this as well. Okay, let's do the bubbles. Beep beep boo. The bubbles are still there. <laughs> but they're not animated. Didn't want to talk about any Ender spoilers today because I know this is a big deal for a lot of people. But I have mixed feelings. And I think one of the reasons why my feelings are so mixed. They're not horribly mixed, but... Hello, Kaleino. Um, one of the reasons is that it's over now. <laughs> I'm sad. I wanted to continue. But alas, maybe... What are we doing here? We're making a game. And we're adding some bubbles to that game. Uh, I missed some of this. Are the plus symbols to indicate uh, level? Uh, if so, should there be a plus in a third circle? Or I may have totally missed something. What kind of game? Um, it is a solitaire kind of game. Um, so the crosses, the pluses underneath indicate nothing right now. Um, it, I had an idea, a vague idea of what they could indicate. I'm just like, they're kind of placeholders right now. 
Um, I wanted to maybe make it possible to finish every level um, with, um, with different results, like different score basically, or different difficulty level. Um, and I wanted to kind of like track of, you know, how well you completed each level. So you can go back and get the stars. So to, these are stars basically. Um, but, mm, but we haven't figured this part out yet. We're gonna figure out it later. Ooh, I kind of, I kind of like, I kind of like the, the the slow bubbles in the background. This is this really adds, and I like that they're not moving too much. I think this this is crucial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would make sense if <laughs> the three, two, one, right? Yeah, the bubbles are cool. I don't like quite like we have to tweak the sizes, I think, and we have to put some maybe some bubbles in a lower part. And also, I had some other ideas. Uh, I said right. Something I um, found out today because I was like thinking. I was thinking about maybe getting an iPad. Right? I heard something. Maybe, maybe somebody knocking at the door. Let me check out. It was nothing. Uh, could you use the developer gate if you link up? Yeah, I, I, yeah, but um, okay, that's good. Um, yeah. Oops. Yeah, I was, I was, I was like, like tempted, um, but then I uh, decided not to get it. Hmm, maybe I just realized. <clears throat> or at least I'm, I'm kind of like, um, I'm second guessing this, this idea. Now because I already have a Surface Pro. And that's kind of like a big tablet, but it's also a notebook. And that, that totally runs Pico 8 on it, right? There's, there's only, I just really wa wanted maybe to have a iPad because it has like Procreate and it's like a really good place to do do drawing on, and you can also do um, pixel art on it. So I thought, yeah, I'm gonna plop down on the couch and do some pixel art. I could do that on on the surface as well, though. Um, but so far, doing pixel art on the surface wasn't that great because um, it didn't really uh, work well with Sprite. But now I found today is that they actually did some improvements on that, apparently. Um, so I actually installed a new version of Sprite on my Surface uh, and I installed like a script that helps with uh, touch screen only controls. So I'm kind of eager to try that first because if, if that part is, can be taken over by, by the Surface, then the one huge reason for having the iPad is gone. And then there's only very little reasons to get it. And the problem with the iPad is like, it's so expensive. It's so incredibly expensive. It's, it's insane. The, the price you pay for Apple hardware is just like, it, there's just no way I can rationalize it. I spent more on a Surface than on, a, on an iPad, and it's like that's an iPad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's not that's not, not a real thing. It's 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 a big 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 cell phone. Uh, I 
Right, so about those bubbles. Mm, I'm, I'm kind of, mm, I kind of don't know exactly what to do with the bubbles. Yeah, see? Your console would be way cooler for Pico 8 stuff and a lot more unique. Everyone has a tablet. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure about the U console. I already have a dev term. I could use a dev term. And. I don't know. It's. If I, if I want to work on the Pico 8, I will just sit here. <laughs> I don't. Like, that's not the. That's not the use case I'm looking for. Hello, Eiji. Yeah, I don't know. Herr Gilbert. Hey, Paul, it's just a short peekaboo until I have to move on to the next meeting. I see a lot of progress here. That's cool. Yeah, yeah there's some progress. I'm not sure how, what to do with the bubbles. The bubbles are not ideal, you see. I've looked at the bubbles. Uh, at the bubbles. They are okay, but they could be better. I'm gonna replace the bubbles with different bubbles. Um, something I don't like. Something I don't like about bubbles is the radius. I don't like how the radius is something that is kind of like fluid. Fluid. It would be nice if there was just like a couple of possible choices. R radii. So it's like four. And it's, it's like 16, right? 16, so let's go seven. So like four, four, seven. So a lot of small bubbles and a couple of big ones. Would it be too, too difficult to add the classic window in the circles to make them look more... Ah, uh, yeah, you mean like... Um, uh, yeah, yeah, like a, like a specular reflection. Yeah, I, I'm not... I, I, I didn't plan on doing this because that's not the... How... What? what? Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> I made a mistake. I made a mistake! Um, that's not how, um, what the graphic design of the card was like. The bubbles are not just like, you know, incidental. They're, 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 there's a reason why they're there. Why are they all in the center like that? Definitely, yeah, that, that, that's a problem. Hmm. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, oh, God, it's, it's early, guys. I, <laughs> you have to excuse me. I'm just like, oh. Yeah, see, that looks way better, I think. Let's copy this.
Yeah. Now, if I respawn them, I kind of want them to... Maybe we should get the radii. As a global variable then, because we're going to use it so much. Let's call it B radii. Bradii. Brady. <laughs> it's Brady. Brady. And then an update function, when we respawn then, we're gonna respawn Brady. Oh, RNG, Brady. I stuck a uh, Pico8 on a Raspberry Pi and then set Linux to boot it on startup and full screen mode. It's nice having a 5 inch screen and a mini machine solely for it, but I usually use the, my desktop anyway. Only because I haven't stuck the Pi in the case with the keyboard and mouse. Yeah, well, that, that definitely. Um, hey, Agent APM. Uh, that definitely will will ruin your enjoyment of a uh, device. Mm, I can I can see that. Huh? Why do the Do I draw the bubbles weirdly? Ah, yeah. See, I, I draw them. I draw them weirdly. That was the idea. Maybe I should shouldn't have done this in in the draw function. Oh man, there's so much I have to have to fix. Maybe I should I should put it in a, in a separate function. So because like there is a function that spawns the bubbles when you like that puts some bubble on the screen when you switch to something, but then there is a separate function that animates bubbles and respawns them. And respawning the bubbles is kind of like different function than. Then spawning them at the beginning, so it's kind of uh... what? Oh. Maybe we should go like. Sometimes it's like one of those days where it's like, you just can't, can you just can, give me some break? Can you give me a break program? I've been working on this for such a long time now. Give me a little of a break, Rooney, huh? Like two incoming, why? What? It's all good, it's all good. 
yeah, that's kind of what I want. I want some up and down movement. Uh, I have to figure this out, how to do that. It should be, a, I definitely want that maybe the update function. Previously I had it in the... Oh. As a project for a break? Oh. <laughs> yeah, sure. Just just whip out another perk like like that. Is that the idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Sure. Hey, Harry Gilbert, have a nice day. Thank you for dropping by. Yeah, these are, I discovered this, this on the, again, it's still, it's still uh, game chops. This was just, um, it's like Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy um, chill, chill hop remixes. Mmm. Okay, let's let's do the wavy lines. Let's let's try to make the wa wavy lines happen. Okay, and there's two things with, with with the bubbles I want to do. First, I want them to scroll with the screen. Um, that's not something that's happening right now. And um, also, then maybe I want them. to move at different speeds. But let's do the scrolling with the screen because this might be actually quite difficult to pull off. I'm kind of like already a bit... Uh, mm, this is like H scroll, right? Let's, let's go to the draw where we draw the bubbles. Here is where we draw the level. Here is where we... Okay, so we're gonna go plus H scroll. Oh, it should be minus H scroll. But you see, they're spawning at the wrong spot. So we go to the update function. now want to make sure that if they spawn on the other side else if is smaller than the other side. Oh no, this is not good. Not H-Strong. Like this. 
Okay. Um, because the problem is right now is we had a screen and the particles were, the bubbles were moving across the screen and once they reach the end of the screen, well actually the mirror, so it's when they reach the end of the screen, from your perspective, when they reach this end of the screen, I would reset them on the other side of the screen, so kind of like recycling the, the particles. And that's great, um, but now the screen is also moving. So when you get into this position where um, like the edges at which the, the particles disappear on one side of the screen has, has have to move with the, with the scrolling. And also, there needs to be another side of the screen where if you move the screen past the particles, they should uh, you should create new particles uh, in the front, so to speak. And that's what's, what's happening right now. <laughs> you can see, you can tell, like there's some, some nice particles, like for example, this particle here, the small one, or like the, the big, big two particles here, the, the clown face, right? If I move the screen past it and in return, they're gone because we are respawning the particles. I thought I saw them disappear. No. Yeah, they did disappear, I think. Oh, well. Maybe just like object permanence interfering with my impression. It's good enough, I'd say. It would be nice now to have a different speed depending on the different particles. Planning on varying the speed to give a sense of depth. Yeah, that's that's the idea. Exactly. Let's it, or let's call it S. And then we're gonna add. Maybe the different size of the particles moving at a different speed, so we get a bit of a parallax effect, maybe. So currently they're moving at, at kind of like 0 0.2. Wally G10. Uh, the level selection indicator is really cool. It, is it inner color? Is is it's inner color a design choice? It kind of differs from the established pastel like palette. But could uh, which which level select? You mean the little arrow on top? A step too far to get them bouncing. Can I ask you some some question? You mean yeah sure. Uh, a step too far. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> we're not gonna have particles interaction. That's not necessary. No, don't worry, we, I'm not going there. Oh wait, I, I have to. Um, level B dot S. Uh, yeah, that's it. They're moving a bit too fast. Mm, you're moving too fast, and I don't think it's right. I'm not giving you my love tonight. Uh-huh. Well, we are also a community that helps people develop in the field of cyber and programming. Welcome. 
feel, feel free to join our Discord. It's, it's down here. Um, oh, it's red. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's... <laughs> That's, I want to do something I forgot and I, I got distracted. <laughs> I haven't even seen it. No, I wanted to make it white because I, I, I had it differently and then it, I realized it was transparent once I added the bubbles and so I want to make it white. That's that's what I want. That's, that's what I'm. <laughs> Thank you for, for reminding me. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't think red was the right choice here. That that's that feels way more pleasant. It should grab attention, but it shouldn't grab attention that much. Okay, it's a bit too fast. So let's divide by twenty. It's better. Uh, but maybe still, like zero point, let's go zero point one plus r divided by forty. So it's good. So it's kind of like more uniform. I think the speeds are just too des uh, too different from each other. Yeah. Oops. Let's try something like this. Woo! Oh, they're all going up. Goodbye. They're all going up. There's no coming down. Oh look, they're, they're, this one is, is... Why are they going up? It's so funny. Oh! Right, right, right. Interesting. Hmm. So let's give it to BX for now. So no. Yes, but not as much.
Oh yeah, one important thing. I also didn't want to... I want the H scroll to affect the position of the particles um, just slightly. So it's kind of like it's a bit of a more of a... more of a... Um, how we call it? Uh, parallax. Yeah, that's way better. Oh, so nice. Would be nice if some. Ah, oh, can I can I pull it off? Yeah, it looks cool. Um, Called P for parallax. Oh man, that's gonna be difficult. Um, let's go R divided by two. Let's try that. Okay, but now the problem is that the bubbles are moving actually faster, uh, but I want it to move slower. So I'm, what, what's, the, what's, the, what's the deal with that? Ah, I'm multiplied, I want to divide. Yeah, that's better. Feels, feels really nice. Um, I just need to make sure that this is also uh, here. Like this. Yeah, that, that looks nice. Problem is, yeah. No, now it's kind of opposite. The bigger ones are mo hardly moving, and the smaller ones are moving more. Uh, I want the kind of the opposite. Um, drastic enough no not the differences are not not pronounced uh, let's go eight and now the differences are more pronounced but maybe a bit too much let's go nine yeah ah oh, man oof Go like R minus two. I'm just tweaking the numbers a little bit. Sorry. 
Yeah, that that's, feels better. Maybe. Uh, let's go a bit lower on this one. Seven. Wait, so now the small ones are moving really fast. No, they are moving really fast. Ah, wait. At some point, we are... We need to copy all of this stuff because when once the particles respawn, we... Where is it? Um... I think it's time to, for for this to become its own own function. Le, lev bub, lev bub. Let's call it lev bub. Um, we won't give it a y value, or the yeah, we won't give it a y value. Or no, we do, y is okay. I is, is something I'm gonna set to zero. Uh, x x is something I'm gonna set to zero. And then I'm gonna return b equals. Add bubbles B return B. And then we can hear Lev Bub. Um, and then ah, local b equals left bub, and then we're gonna go b e dot x equals i times 16. Okay, that's that's what we want. And then on an update here, draw update here, we have to kind of like delete the, the bubble here. Um, local b2 equals uh, lev bub b2 dot x equals b dot x minus 154 and delete bubbles b. Unexpected end of line. Oh, I'm gonna see if that works or not. Yeah, it works. Well, oh, we got some bubbles spawning in the in the open. Yeah, see. Okay, that's not that's not good. Uh, how is in what condition? Huh? Hmm. We did spawn the bubbles.
No, the X shouldn't be zero. We are moving the bubble to the other side of the screen. Uh, let's see. Sometimes on the right side of the screen, bubbles are. See, sometimes they're spawning a bit too early. Huh. Maybe we should spawn them off screen. like this is a problem that comes up because we're spawning a bubble and that bubble has a different p-value and then that messes up with the position yeah yeah yeah, yeah. because the um, the way the scrolling affects the bubble is something that we we'll calculate real time Gonna be like something like plus Oops. oh man Oh man, this is melting my brain a little bit. Ah, oh, this is bad. Okay, so let's just, just, okay, just for now, let's just, just spawn it on the right side of the screen. So something like, uh, so it's too far, so yeah, so it's gonna be like zero uh, minus 13. Let's say 140, 140. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, that seems to work. Not my ideal solution. There's there's potential for particles to pile up on on one one position, but oh, oh that's not good. That's not good. Where are the particles?
do the real-time calculation based on the size, would mod not be best? Display X. Mm, no, I don't know. It's, it's, I think you have a different different thing in mind. I don't think that's, that's my thing. Well, I guess you could do a mod there, right? The problem is that the new... Is that just like a... F yeah, no, no. Oh, man, there's still particles showing up. See how, how there's like a blank space on the right? It seems like the particles are not being created properly there. Maybe that's just like a uh, subjective thing. Yeah, it might be subjective as well. Should the first branch have a A minus H scroll modifier at the least? Minus H scroll. There's H scroll and there's H scroll. Hmm. No, because it's minus here, and then we undo it, so we have to do plus. Or is it? No, yeah, yeah, because here we are reading the X and then subtracting to get the real position on the screen. Uh, and here we get, we want this to be the real position on the screen, so we have to add this, so to get back to the position of the actual particle. There's like a real position on the screen and there's the position that the particle has, and those two don't match because we do parallax scrolling. Um, but once you do parallax scrolling, like the, pos the particles have different positions and sometimes you, like, you cannot transition, um, take one particle with one parallax on a one parallax level and see like, okay, the, the particle at this position should now be bigger and scroll on a different plane. Uh, that can, you cannot really translate this without doing math, which kind of eludes me right now. I'm kind of like trying to fix a, find a uh, simple and dirty solution. It's kind of okay. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. It's all fine. Doesn't have to be perfect. There's no pop, there's not like not extreme popping or anything. It's okay. It looks fine. I'm, I'm, I'm overthinking things. Uh, I want to do something else, a different type of, of particle. Since we are, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, look at this, look at this, halfway, halfway point. Oh, we're living on a prayer. Yeah, I, I, I do enjoy the, the, the parallax. Uh, so. I do not just want to have bubbles. I also want to have, uh, let's call it the wavies. <laughs> wavies. Did you heard about the wavies? Uh, maybe there's not gonna be as many wavies, but yeah, I just like, I want to have like little, um, like waves going through the screen. Maybe, maybe a bit faster. We're gonna see what we can do. Thought waves, yeah. <laughs> kind of. That's the idea. You, you got it.
let's let's do an X and a Y, just just an X and Y, and let's just draw. We'll animate them first. Here's where we draw it, but also we want to animate this. Hey, Snowja! How are you doing? Are there going to be bubbles and waves in the main game screen? Maybe, maybe the waves can increase in number and speed as the game gets more difficult to show that. Yeah, that would be a, that would be a possible thing to do. Uh, I definitely want to maybe um, take the stuff that we have from the level select screen and bring it back to the start screen, yeah. But first, let's, let's, let's have something it'd be like. drawing them so let's draw let's draw something I, I I'm fine with drawing a circle just so some we have we see them what we wanted right let's just do one wavy for now sure how I'm gonna draw it let's go let's say like four I equals one two thirty two two and he set W dot X Y fifteen. Um, minus I. Let's just make it make it sixteen in size. Okay, so now we have like these lines. That's good. Um, but maybe now we want to the Y to be 
plus sine uh, w x divided by 30, uh, 32 inch, whatever, uh, times 4. <laughs> That's what I wanted. That's, that's more what I, the look I wanted. Oh, what happened? Dude, I want to continue what, like what's, what's the matter? Let's, let me, let me get to the my, what? This playlist does not, not oh yeah, yeah, because I changed my. Sorry, 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 we'll be back to a short disturbance in the force. What? What? Okay. <laughs> Are you still listening? Are you sure? Were you listening though? Okay, we have to take this off. have returned. Now wave bubble collision that causes ping. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, sure. And then we're gonna have... Uh, what's the name of the game where you shoot at bubbles and they split? Pong? And it's not Pong, but it's kind of similar to... Like the name is similar to Pong. Yeah, this is good. This is this is, this is the way these, uh, we deserve and, and want to have. Um, Pango? Is it Pango? Pango. There's diff different Pangos in a uh, Pango game. Pango Pirate. Nah. Game about Splitting bubbles with a, a rope. Mm. Mm. 
Arcade. Pang. The game is called Pang. I told you, similar to Pong. See? We have all the aspects. We have a rope with a wavy line <laughs> and bubbles. And then you, the wavy line t hits the, hits the bubbles and the bubbles get split. There's a port on BBS of this. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's that's pretty pretty good target for um, for um, for brigade, right? So let's let's scroll because right now, oop, see, ooh, that's that's that 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 was wonky, huh? That was super wonky. Should we plus H scroll? Oh no, that's 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 so bad. Oh man, who? Mm. The eight scroll really creates troubles here. Minus minus is definitely correct, but just like we want to So I guess um, we're gonna add some offset to the wavies. Well, but first of all, let's let's create multiple wavies. synced up so let's go like OF equals RND like 32 whatever Now they're 
not quite a sync path anymore. Okay, let's just reset them at the right position. So how long are they? They are 32 pixels wide, okay. If they're, yeah, so if W the X um, minus H scroll is this, then we're gonna reset them on the other side, yeah. No, no, no. The, the, the wavies are going flat? Nah. Um, the spacing is a bit too even, I feel. So let's go plus R&D 24. And here. Plus R and D sixteen, whatever. Just adding a little bit more variation here. Open on clock source. What's the, what's the matter? Oh yeah, thanks. I think they're uh, not randomizing the uh, X position, right? Uh, I mean the Y position. Uh... What? Yeah, that's good. Uh, maybe also we're going to change the frequency a little bit. Uh, first of all, when we respond in off, let's set the offset a little bit to something else. And then what is the frequency? How do we calculate the frequency? Um, we go da -da 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 -da. We divide it by 48. Um, still feels a bit too much too samey. Maybe maybe it higher frequency variation. Uh, let's do another five. Setting it so let's re maybe I should uh, another do a function for resetting the wavies. Yeah, let's do a function for the wavies. Left waff. 
um, left buff. Okay, so we're gonna go W equals left buff, and then W dot X equals this, and then we're gonna get this out. And then in update function, we're gonna have left buff. That's gonna be basically the same thing, but we are going to drop this in here. Don't need any R. Away these like this. And then we can use this when we respawn. Uh, local double W two equals left uh, left off, and then W two dot x equals W dot x minus this, and then we're gonna delete uh, wavies w. So to delete the old wavy and create a new one. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I don't like when that happens. <sighs> what can you do? Randomness, right? Randomness means that also clustering can happen. Uh, that's, that's always a bit sad. I feel like the initial initial spawning has to have more spacing. Apparently even more spacing, I don't understand. Just space them out, man. I want to also maybe change the speed. So update at how, f because they're all flying, it's, it's, it seems to say me to me right now. I would want to have a different. So the speed is one right now. So let's go WS. And then W dot S equals 0 0.1 plus R and D. Uh, no, 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 S like this. Oops. Oh, what's happening there? That's interesting. Oh, there's there's there is one that is just way too slow. Oh, interesting. Okay, that was. <laughs> oh, because it's zero point one. Okay, I <laughs> wanted zero point five. Yeah, but now there's there's um, there are things happening here now. Interesting. Uh, a bit, again, a bit too, too much randomization, maybe a little bit. Let's try that. Yeah, the, the jittering, I'm gonna try to address the jittering. I hope I can fix this. 
Um, Uh, let's flow the WX. And then just draw on the floor position. And also calculate this from a floor position. That should help. Oh. Yeah, okay, now they're cleaner again. I think we're spotting them too far off. We don't need the minus 14 anymore. It's just like, it's gonna be far off anyway. And I think 92 is, is enough as spacing. I think they were going generally a bit too fast. Um, so let's go back to 0 0.5 and then R&D divided by two. Yeah, that's better. It's more mellow. Yeah, that's good. That's what we wanted. Okay, on the start screen, the stuff on the start screen I also want to maybe update. So we'll just start screen and, oh yeah, we're also using Brady here. Okay, that's good. Do we also respawn Brady? Yeah, we have Brady here, that's good. We maybe, we could bring in the, the wavies in here, huh? Oops, no, let's update start. Let's just spawn them first. Uh, let's go to level, go to start is here. We can just spawn them, it's fine. Um, And then update start, we're just gonna copy the stuff from update level. Is that update level? Yeah, that is update level. Um, um, we can do like 128 plus 32 here, no, no, because that's, there's no scroll happening here, 160. And then we can go. Yeah. And 60. 20 plus 64, I guess this is, this is what we're looking for. So that's gonna be um, 128 plus 64. 192. And then, yeah, sure, we're gonna randomize it a little bit. Uh, and then we're gonna delete the old one. Okay, that's good. And then we're gonna draw them. them. Uh, we're not going to use the H scroll. Yeah, that's really nice.
Looks good. And look at this, look at this. See the importance of good screen design? Of like good mock-ups? It's exactly the way we planned it. This is what's supposed to be look like, looking like, this is what, what it actually looks like. Isn't it great? It's what we planned all along. Good, oops, wrong, wrong scene, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. So let us do a look on the to-do list. What else do we have to install today? So bubbles and background waves, predefined bubble sizes. We kind of did all that stuff. Okay, so music and volume and dampened and menu music is something that we're gonna do deal with some other day. Yeah, mockups are a big deal. Kind of helps you figure out what looks good and doesn't look good before you have to do it. Uh, finishing level, finishing level music, um, restart. Okay, let us do these things. Um, and then we're gonna figure things out. How do, how does that work? How do you add, oops. We add, add menu item speaker aid. Menu item. And then how do you remove them again? Well, so we're gonna figure out later. Okay, so when we start a game. Here we go. We're gonna menu item, menu item, menu item. We're gonna do at three menu items, I guess. One, one, well, let's see, one, two, three. The first one is gonna be um, reset. Or restart. Uh, main menu. Let's call it main menu. Do we need anything else? No, that's good. That's good. Um, okay, so how do we remove them again? To remove a previously added item, call menu item I, where I is, okay, okay, okay. So let's just like do something like this. Just whatever there was, we're gonna remove those two. And we're gonna restart it. On the restart, we're gonna do a start game. So yeah, it's gonna be just start game. And on <coughs> main menu, we're gonna go go to start. Maybe go to start. Let's try go to start. Start the level now, that's good. And we can immediately notice that we are randomizing the level every time, so that's something we have to do to deal with. And then main menu gets us here. Perfection. Um, so that is kind of like done. There's a bit of an issue in, in that it's this menu is not accessible. 
if you're just using mouse. So we might add like a button for a main menu. I'm gonna put this in the to-do list. M mouse. Push button for menu? Question mark? Um, so yeah, that's, that should be set to start. Um, finishing level, finishing level music, that's good. And then also um, key-based level generation. Let's address finishing the level because right now Yeah, let's see if we can what happens exactly when you finish level so we know what, what we have to do um, Let's solve this level See, this is con good connection here, but we, so we might. Oh yeah, we have to put something down here, right? So we could put down here, and then we could attach this. And okay, so let's try that. Uh, like this. Should I attach this, or should I go for the green one, which is here? Uh, I could get this off. I won't be able to get this off. So let, let, okay, let's let's try let's let's try the risky play. I, I'm not sure if that's actually I haven't grokked yet. So this is something I cannot attach, even though it's it's tempting, because that will definitely screw up my my game. Oh, I think we we might be done here. So okay, so let's do a restart. Um, oh man, all the greens are up there. Okay, but you know what? We can just do this, and then this, and then we need a wavy line, a green maybe, that would be good. So, that, but that's all over here. Ah! So let's get this down here, and up here. Maybe this goes here. This can go here, which frees up this one. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Uh, this way you can go, oh, what? Oh. See, that it just looked like as if I'm adding this to the bottom row, but it's, I'm not doing that. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, this is a bit of an issue, huh? We might just... Ah, we cannot add this. Hmm. I think we screwed up here. <sighs> so this would be good, or... This, they're both buried. Hmm, difficult, difficult. It's a, it's not, a, it's not an obvious game. I think maybe, maybe I'm just like not, not smart. <laughs> I mean, I probably not, but, but, um, but also, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is, this is a, this is a. This is a brain exercise for sure. It looks so simple. I 
kind of like that the threat of getting stuck is so nebulous. Like, like, ah, uh, oh man, d d d look, all of the all of the things that are free are kind of yellow. I feel <laughs> I need to get this off, but I it can only attach here or here, and both are kind of buried. So I kind of have to get this away. But this connects to nothing. Oh, I, of course, it <laughs> connects to here. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't see it. Um, I could get this just in there, right? Except this. This. See, I cannot get in. The loop won't close. I, 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 so I kind of get have to have a different, different home for this, and it kind of is there, right? So I have to just attach this wavy line to some other wavy line. Okay, so for example, this one. And this one and then I can bloop what oh what oh oh okay so so like this what okay uh, and then the yellow won't close but this will or the blue one this one would, would close so we need to get this this get rid of this well, we can do like this and this, and then I, oh, we cannot use this because this is, there's a blue here. So we actually do need the green one, the greeny green ones. To coin a phrase from Andor. Oh man, we're stuck, right? If if I could get to this, everything would be fine. Because but but I have this one here, and that, and not nothing is fine. Nothing is fine. I think we're, we're stuck. Okay, so we could get this one in here. Yeah, sure. And then this one. And then this one. Uh, we can get this one. We definitely need this to close everything up. Let's get this one in here. Um, definitely the blue one to close this up. So, and everything is green. Not a bad game. I just I don't know what to say. Uh, I, I should maybe add some kind of cheat, maybe or something. I don't know. Uh, it's difficult to test how to how the game looks when you solve it. I'm stumped by my own game. <laughs> nah, it's good. It's good. I, I have to just find a solution. Just like this. It just stack stack a little bit. It just stack some things. Uh, wavy line. This can go there. Uh, flat, flat, but wrong color. This wavy line maybe can go somewhere. No, two wavy lines here. Hmm. Okay, let's get rid. Maybe one of those those two two uh, guys maybe can go down. I can get this one down, then that won't help me at all. No. Well, I could get rid of this. Oh yeah, so let's try that. Uh, 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 look at this. We can get this one in here, but we have to get rid of this. This is kind of causing us troubles. 
because instead of this we need this and of course it's, it's hidden all the way up oh, it's, it's, it's always hidden all the way up Come on, I have to finish it once. I have to finish it once. This is this is my challenge right now. I tell you, it, it feels like some of these are unsolvable. I, I cannot believe. But I did the tests. It's kind of it's kind of like an interesting game to be like um, to generate a level and then. Yeah, and then send it to some other person. It's like, okay, how did you solve it? And then they'd be like, ah, don't worry. Tick, 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 tick. Oh, I just realized it would be fun if you could create like an animation, like a quick animation blah, 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 where things go in like as a GIF at the end. That would be interesting. Like export your solution as a GIF, you know? So we can send each other challenges. So right now I cannot see anything I can stack if I if I understand correctly. So I have to get something down, and the question is what what do I get down that will uh, un unlock this? It's not always solvable, but it should be uh, most of the time. Like the high percentage is actually solvable, which is surprising because it doesn't seem so. Okay, let's just like put it in here, put it in here. Oh, undo would be also good. I just realized. And we can get this down. I have now two wavy lines. Huh. Um, this arc shaped and wavy line on top, something we're looking for. This could be something that we do something that we could get rid of. We have two of those, but we don't have anything that this attaches to, because this here is one. Oh, one is up there. I could maybe go like here. We can can do a switch switch a rule, but I can't. <laughs> it, it seems like I didn't have that much tr troubles previously. Maybe, maybe I just got, got less smart. But that happens to people as they get older, right? Okay. So we need now the yellow. <laughs> I always find myself in a situation where I need something and it's like <laughs> somewhere. Okay, let's get this out. Oh! oh. Alright, let's, let me run the music. And then I can go with this. Uh, and then we can put something down. What do we need? Not and not another blue, but the greeny green one would be good. Did not feel that great to put this down, but okay. Yeah, this wavy line is not good. This would be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> yeah, it just, it just see, seems so unsurmountable because sometimes it's like it just there's just nothing you can do, um, or it feels like there's nothing you can do. Oh, I, th I think, I think I can't solve it anymore, right? Oh yeah, no, there is a green one sitting there. Just need to get to it. So I guess I cannot get this off. So I need to dig out somehow. So for example, this and this would help. So I can get this down. Now I need to find a place for this. I can attach this, but now it doesn't connect to this anymore. So what I have to do is here and here. And that actually completes a circle. The problem is, that won't, the last circle won't close that way. Hmm. 
that won't close. <laughs> so I have two loops now here and I have to like shuffle them around so, so they will actually close. So this needs a, this will close, but this won't close because you see, they don't, don't fit together. So I need to get this one out and put it here. And now this will close. And now this will close. <laughs> okay, so this is the thing. When, um, maybe the difficult could, could be how many undos you get. Uh, yeah, the problem with that is once you memorize the solution, you can just restart the level and just do it uh, straight. Oh, my. My Gundam just turned itself off. Um, so I, I don't like that. Like um, it's, the execution of it shouldn't be the the one the thing that is being tested. Oh man, that's always a hassle with the Gundam. Come on, turn on. Or did the juice run dry? So the execution of going through this process shouldn't be thing that that is the the or like the raw dragging things around and making per, making sure that you don't get stuck is not the thing that the figuring out should be the difficult thing, uh, not like memorizing the solution is what I'm trying to say. Um, like if you remember, memorize this, like if the perfect way to play it is to kind of like play through it on easy mode and then memorize the solution and then set, switch to hard mode and just do it like a straight replication of that solution that you figured out on easy mode, that's I think not satisfying. Um, I think the pa punishment, the pu like the, having to restart because you got stuck is punishment enough I feel or having to undo something is punishment enough. Uh, you don't have to force people to restart if they make mistakes. Is what I'm, I guess, what I'm trying to say. If that makes sense. I'm, I'm bugged about the, the Gundam. Come on. Is the better batteries? Maybe, maybe the batteries are like in the uh, thing. Right. So let's just think about what 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 we want. So um, we need a um, function. function that checks if finished. Oh, I know what the th third undo. Um, uh, then I want yeah, and then I want to add finishing level music and then change to level select. And then maybe score screen placeholder. That's maybe something that you want to do as well. How does it? battery in there all right maybe just like a little contact problem ah there we go <laughs> you guys let me know if this guy is slacking off 
Uh, yeah, okay, so let's start with a function that checks if the level is finished. That's UI. I want to go to gameplay. Oh man, I haven't been doing gameplay in a while. This feels odd. Oof. If, uh, yeah. Uh, do you have a working pocket chip right now? Yes, I do. at all the heaps and if we find anything in any of the heaps that if any cards in any of the heap then that means we're not finished and then we're dropping things into the halo what do we have the sound effect yeah sound effect place heaps and then we're gonna go if um, it's finished then and then we're gonna play the music that's not the music did i miss it let, let me turn off the the, the zelda music That's so nice. I, I, I might um, like one of these could be could be like a sound effect that we use throughout, uh, kind of like to as a yeah like a sound effect that we play uh, when the when we finish a, a halo. Uh, music. Ooh, and this, this continues a very long time. That's not good. Um, we should fix that. Isn't there like the like thing here that you can change? Whoops, nope. Oh well, I'm not exactly sure how that works. I'm gonna have to ask Gruber about that. Okay, so this is uh, music 11. Um. How much, how long does it play? Mm, because we want to kind of like maybe do like a... F mm. Can you increase the volume? It's hard to hear anything but the chimes. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's generally, uh, it's just chimes. <laughs> There's there's a bit of a background sound like I like will bump up the volume. 
uh, not. It's, it's very soft, and I've been talking to Gruber to like bump up the volume, but that's yeah, he it's he did, but it wasn't enough. So we're working on this. We're working as it's, it's a it's a work in progress. Hmm. Yeah, definitely could be good to add like an um, easy mode now, so, so I can just quickly finish the level. Um, yeah, we, we're going to do that, actually. People are, are contacting me. How dare they? Okay, so here is, we are creating, yeah, this is where the deck that we're creating. Let us do a um, different deck. Um, we're going to create just six cards. And the color is going to be rotating through. So it's going to like J equals one. And then every time we place a card, we're going to go J equals J plus one. If J, uh, I know there's a module here, but uh, whatever, uh, then J equals one and um, okay so let's let's do that <laughs> babies <laughs> babies babies first um, first thing can can we can we actually finish this yeah we can right oh no <laughs> I'm stuck <laughs> The, I want to kind of like not do the sound effect. So it's like, and maybe the sound effect actually for finishing uh, will be different. We're gonna think about that later. Um, yeah, so I kind of want to wait until the, the music is over. And then I'm gonna, uh, I want to go to the main menu. Now there's, there's my, maybe an, an some kind of animation happening here. So I'm not sure exactly how to handle this. Um, let's just do like a wait thing. So for i equals zero to 30 do and flip um, something like this. We can even do update and draw. Ah, update 60. Ah, and then afterwards we want to do something. Uh, go to level. Does it go to level? Go to start, go to level, yeah. If that's too quickly, way too quickly. Oh. 
yeah, still too quickly. Around 40, just double, always double. Still a bit too too little. Let's go three hundred forty. We can get away with 320 or something. Okay, um, and now when we go to level, hmm, I want to actually do music, uh, start the music again. So like music, music one, uh, zero, right? Okay. That's what that's working. So we kind of have a level ending, but we don't have the level ending juice. Do, do, did we put it up in our juice thing? Halo clear juice, yeah, yeah. And level ending juice. I feel like this is a kind of high priority thing. Mm -hmm. Not maybe not as, as high as screen transition, but still fairly high. Um, I also, I want to maybe try to dampen the menu music. Um, that's something that we discussed. Okay, we did the function that checks the if the is finished. We did not add the undo menu. Let's let's do that real quick. Uh, here. I'm going to undo here. <clears throat> and there. And so a uh, one, two, three. Um, when we end the game, this is, this is, I'm going to call, maybe call a function here. Um, mm, mm, mm. It's, it's weird that we had the sound effect. What's 61? Oh. Oh, so 59 is the sound effect. Oh, and 61 is cancel. Is that how it works? Yeah, so why do we have the 61? That's, that makes no sense. Uh, yeah, we definitely want, oops, yeah, let's remove this real quick and remove this.
and this. Yeah, so we always want to quit out when there is Ah, 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 I see the problem. Okay. Okay, okay, wait, 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 let's do undo this. Okay. So, if hashtag halo equals zero, then uh, else and then we're gonna take 59 here something like this so like I want to all of the music and sound effects to be uh, centralized So end game, um, we're gonna play the music, we're gonna wait, we're gonna go to the level, okay? So like this. And we're gonna just call it here. Maybe it's not necessary, but I kind of like want it to be in the right spot. Yeah, I, I like the sound as well. I think I think we um Google Music did a did a good job here. Especially like the game ending sound. Of course the mood makes a beam 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 to maybe something to appear. Maybe like there's like three rings that that uh, appear, appear or I, I had an idea of what to do once a ring is completed and we're gonna do that later. Okay, so, so far this is good. I also want to see if I, because right now I have undo, but undo is actually not doing undo. Um, yeah, it's restarting the game. Do I have undo in my to-do list? Yeah, we do have undo menu. Uh, implement undo. The problem is with undo, we cannot have, or I... I just don't want to have infinite undo or like because it's going to be a huge pain in the butt <clears throat> to have infinite undo so we're probably going to have to like undo levels uh, don't feel so great okay uh, okay finishing level music is implemented change back to level select is implemented yeah, we don't have a score screen placeholder. Uh, I feel like this is maybe something, oh man, this is something that I'm really, um, I, I'm, I'm gonna do some sc score screen, screen design at some point later. Let's, let's just like put it on later. I, I just like, because it kind of like this also um, taps into Halo Clear Juice. And actually, let's put this. Let's put this maybe as a as its own thing. Halo. Finalization. Or finish Halo. Um, and we finish the Halo by figuring out what the score screen is going to look like. Then um, we're going to do the Halo clear juice and level ending juice. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Tower of Fake. Uh, isn't this love? What is love? Baby, don't, don't hurt me. Uh, set up juice. 
uh, cards fly into halo juice. Yeah, yeah, that's that's part of the parts are part of it. Fuzzy bubbles. Yeah, I'm not okay. I think I'm wrong. Um, it is Lua. You mean Lua Love? It is Lua, but it's not uh, not not Lua Love. It's a Pico Eight. Um, Okay, so we kind of have finishing levels. I want to maybe now focus. Okay, so <clears throat> there's two things I want to maybe deal with. Um, music volume, let's get this out. There's some, something that um, that Gruer will have to think about. Yes, this is the, the fantasy console. Um, dampen the menu, menu music in the key base level generation. Um, oh, um, my wife might be returning soon, so. So I'm checking what's happening. E, 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 e. Probably one we will stop streaming soon. Well, they are on their way back, I think. Where are they? Oh my gosh. What? I think they went on a on a shopping spree. <laughs> Your chat is very dead for 16 viewers. I'm, is it? I don't know. People are just hanging out. Um <laughs> yeah, everybody's busy listening. <laughs> uh Okay, and let's do the dampen music. So, um, as far as I understand it, is um, oh man, I have to do some. We're gonna have two functions. One is gonna be dampen, and the other one is gonna be undampen. Uh, let's do this, put it in the tool tab. Run functions dampen. <laughs> yeah, the, exactly. People are just like listening to this while they work on their things. So undampen. Um, and then we're gonna do some peek and poke um, shenanigans. Let me let me look up the peek and pokes. Uh, hopefully, hopefully the Pico Eight wiki has me on this one. I have to watch the vault later. <laughs> um, po poke. Uh, let me switch to full screen. Right, so here's the poke. Do we have memory? Yeah, let's 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 look up the memory. Uh, yeah, let's go to the sound effects. There we go. Oh, there we go. Dampen. Compute address of S, uh, SFX. SFX address is this plus this. Ah, okay. I think that might be a that might be a, a good thing to try here. Catch thirty three is four. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe you catch the retreat. <laughs> uh, 
something like this is what we want to have. Uh, okay. Editor mode? What is editor mode? There are 64 sound effects. Each sound effect is 68 bytes, with two bytes for each of the 32 notes, followed by four special bytes. One encoding the editor mode and filter switch positions. One for the speed and two for the loop parameters, start and end. The editor mode and filter switch can be decoded Ah, okay. Yeah. So this is how we read out stuff uh, from the from from the thing, and this is how we read it back in. <laughs> I'm advanced for my age. My mom was doing the typing, though I can't reach the key. <laughs> you have to imagine mom sitting there and the kid is like, no, no, say this, say this, no, that's wrong. <laughs> Set a pog <bonk> emoji. <laughs> Poggers, Poggers harder. <laughs> um. Yeah, this is a bit of an issue, right? Because we are trying to read out the byte. Okay, let me let me focus on just one sound effect first, and then we're gonna, yeah, because probably we're gonna, we're gonna have to read it out and then read it back in again. Um, let's see, which sound effect are we trying to manipulate? I'm not sure if this is actually an instrument that he's using. I think it is. They're not damped. None of these are damped. So instruments zero until... Oh, I feel this is already... Yeah, this already. Yeah, so what? This is seven because it's green here, right? I think that refers to. Yeah, that this is the. Okay, so one to seven is our instruments. Uh, zero to seven are instruments that we want to manipulate. So <clears throat> we're going to go four i equals zero to seven do. Um, then we're going to calculate the, uh, the address. It's going to be this. Local. Um, this. And then... Local byte. Byte. Um, equals <clears throat> I don't know man I don't know I have a three-year-old and she's pretty much <laughs> and she definitely watches me code <laughs> So I guess reverb is supposed to be zero and one. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. There's like three settings, so zero, zero one, three. You know, let, let me just print it out. Debug. Um, one equals 
byte. I'm going to leave this around, but we're going to Okay, we're not poking things back in. I just wanna I just wanna see something. I just wanna see a thing. And then mm -hmm, yeah. <clears throat> There's something wrong. Oh yeah, because we didn't end this. Okay, so we have dampened set to one now. Let's let's actually do it just with with zero here. So we're sure. Okay, this is dampened zero. Interesting. So, so wait, so there's different dampens. Is there some something already dampened? That would be most peculiar. No, this is not 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 not. Not so. Why was it set to? Yeah, weird. Um, now I'm gonna set it to this. It's still zero though. Oh man, what? So that it, you lied to me. You lied to me. I was wondering. Yeah, this is all wrong. Oh, because we didn't. <laughs> no, yeah. I guess it should be peak. Let's, let's make it sure it's peak. Let's just do byte for now. So it's 17. And if I change something here, does it change? Are we even... Un oh yeah, it does change. Okay. So I guess, so wait, so it's 17 undam and because they all, oh no, they have different settings. Ugh. Wait, so wait, so this is 17 and this is 161. Man, I just, I just hate. The binary two level switches are simply given their own bits, but the three level switches are stored in a way that allows all combinations of those to be expressed within the remaining five of the, oh man, no. <laughs> Why you do me like this? Oh. Oh no, oh, I don't want to. Uh. I thought this was simple, but apparently it's not. But also like, yeah, like why, why, why am I not getting it? the correct, um, because the code from the website doesn't seem to work. Debugo. So now it's zero.
Yeah, the code doesn't work. It's 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 that's broken. Oh wait, I I, I always had to reverb, but I want to have dampen. I think I had I I I mistake a need. Ah, now it's one. Okay, now it's zero. Good. Okay, now it's two. Okay, that's good. Cool, 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 cool. Right, and now what? Should we just split it into detune, reverb, and dampen? Yeah, we just split it into, oh man, it's a bit. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit annoying, but I just like can't be bothered to figure this out. <clears throat> um zero one two, right? And then <clears throat> and then, yeah, and dampen uh, value. Byte plus minus, we don't need to dampen. Well, we're gonna keep it around for for debugging purposes. Value <coughs> and then poke. <coughs> Why? So this should dampen and undampen the, the sound effects. It's a lot of code for, for this. We can, we can definitely, definitely, <laughs> definitely can clean this up. Um, just wanna make sure that seven is the last one that we are dampening. So and we're going to actually do like a two test functions. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna put them in a the menu so we can, we can hear it maybe. Um, zero and two.
It's very subtle. Um, but yeah, it's so so quiet. You, it's, I, I will actually increase my, maybe the volume level for me. So let's see. Definitely hear the difference now when it's louder. So this is the damped version, and this is the uh, not dampened version. Dampened. Yeah. Okay, good. So that works. Um, so this is good because we can send it to. Um, we can send it to. <coughs> to Gruber. So music zero, dampen two. And then when we start a game, here we're gonna set it to dampen one. And then Start screen is dampened too. <clears throat> uh, level select screen also dampened too, in case we're gonna go from the game into the level select screen. Oh yeah, that, that sounds more, more, a little bit fuller when you go into the game. Gameplay. Right, right, right. Let's get to the business of doing. Let me remove the debugging stuff. There's a whole bunch of debugging stuff with that we really don't need to do. Hey, Lore. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Um, I just uh, implemented a thing where um, um, there is uh, the sound, the sound and menu um, is feel uh, is dampened because I take the instruments that uh, Gruber Music had set up and add the dampen filter to them, and so it's kind of like sounds different in the menu than it sounds in the game. It kind of sounds a bit fuller in the game. That, that way we don't have to have, have the separate men, uh, music for in game and outside of the game. But I'm not sure if I love it. It's not as pronounced as I wanted it to be. Yeah, ending music, that's right. 
Um, something I probably will do at some point is when we're resuming the music is we will resume at a random pattern. Because the music doesn't really have a beginning and end, so we can start at any pattern. Actually, let's do this right now. Because that way it doesn't always sound at the start of the same pattern. Music. Do music. Do music. Uh, let's do first the dampen and then the music. I think that might be better. Uh, and then two, um, we're gonna do music. And it's like one, pattern one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So it's R and D 9, uh, 11, and floor. So it's kind of, you have it's always a bit different music when you restart the game. That's the way it was before. Okay, so we damped in the, the uh, music. <coughs> mm, okay, so key level, key based level generation. That's something I actually wanted to try out because that's kind of like, oh, this is gonna get spicy. Um, because this is actually not trivial. It's okay. Wait, RNG rank, rank, not not rank. I'm, I'm looking in the in the wiki. There's a RND. That's not RNG. Uh, S rent is what I'm looking for. Uh, the random number generator used by RND is initialized with unpredictable seed value from Pico when Pico 8 starts. You can reinitialize the generator with an explicit uh, using SRAND. This is most commonly used for testing random behaviors in your game with a known sequence. You can call SRAND before you call RND to get a predictable re result. Okay. Um, I have not huge, used this too much, so I don't want to make sure that this is working correctly. Um, so let's do an s rent without any value. What happens then if I do um, debug? One equals R and D. Okay. See. The problem is like once you initialize the random number generator with a number, you cannot make it not ran like not random again, <laughs> because it's, uh, if you don't have this, you know, when, every time you start, you get a different number, right? The, the red number always changes. So that's cool. Um, but once you call s rand once, you cannot you cannot do that anymore. <laughs> Uh, this is a bit of an annoying thing. So one thing to do this is, um, one way to, do, to pull this off is basically saying like function uh, 
we can just call it rand. Um, and so we're gonna save a key, some, something like rand key equals rnd. Yeah, um, yeah, right, right, right. So we're gonna go s rand equals rand key. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, let me think about this. No. This is the way. Yeah. <clears throat> and then we need to start with this already. Okay, so here's here's the idea. Srand one. Uh, then we're gonna uh, do something, and then we're gonna rent, and then we're gonna do something else. So the first number doesn't change, but the second number changes now. And that's kind of like something I want. I want to be able to sometimes fix the random number generator or certain key, but otherwise unlock it again and make it unpredictable again. And for that, I kind of have to uh, re re generate a random number at the beginning of the program when the random number generator is all scrambled up uh, before I reset it to a certain number so I can reset it back to a scrambled number. And then after I reset it to a scrambled number, I have to re-scramble that, <laughs> that random number. So it's... I, if I reset it twice, it doesn't reset twice to the same number. <laughs> you kind of have to do a lot to make things random. Uh, I love it. Okay, but now... An update function. Oh, there's some information. Oh, somebody typed in the wrong. I think my wife is trying to buy something and she typed in the, the wrong uh, pin. Okay, so mouse buttons, that's okay. Here, let's just do here. No, not, not drag. Update. Yeah, 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 yeah. Update. In the in the in the level. Oh yeah, yeah. So we're actually doing it here. When you start just starting, <clears throat> go to level. We say go to level, right? So let us do. We have a menu uh, variable that stores on which level we are. Uh, left cell. If left cell uh, equals maybe we should we should do the start game. Yeah, because um, we also call start game when we when we restart the level. So here, let's do this here. I'm gonna bring back the music. Okay, so here we're gonna just check which select which level we're selecting. If left cell is greater than, well, actually let's, let's get like, srand 
History, history left cell like this. Like this. And then when we're entering, go to level, when we're going to level, we're gonna go uh, rent. <clears throat> okay, so let's try. Oh, yeah, history left cell dot key, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, square brackets. <laughs> ah! Okay, and now... Oh, wait. See, now it's restarting always to the same level. That's what we wanted. If we restart, we want to have a, the exact same level layout. So now if I, I move things around. Oops. And I restart, it's the same level again. That's what we wanted. And also we want it so that we, if we go to a different level, this one for example, that, oh oh. Uh oh, these are all the same levels. No, they're different. They just look very similar. Yeah, these are different levels. Okay. Whew. Okay, so here uh, when we play, we want to then generate a new level. We will do that in a second. And we can actually, actually history left cell dot tries, right? Like we call it tries. We can already count this up. I don't understand how to talk when count is so low. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't do anything else. I, I did, there is no special uh, counting uh, talk. <laughs> saving measures. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just like I, I told you, puzzle games are different, easier to make in terms of like complexity. Hey, <laughs> Ektay, how are you doing? I swear, I will be back to, to shmups. I just like want to squeeze this in real quick so we don't, don't do just shmups end to end. But we will return to shmups. Oh yes, we will return to shmups. Okay, so let let me see if, if this actually saved. So this is tries four, and then if we go to main menu, it's five. Okay, good. And then main menu, it's six. Okay, good. So this is actually saving uh, the, the attempts in in the in the history, and also the history itself is uh, it's taking also the keys from the history. That word is beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying this. This, this is cool. This is very relaxing. Yeah, also, I'm very relieved that that <laughs> that uh, I don't have so many token worries because it's kind of like very unusual <laughs> for a Pico 8 project <laughs> to be not stressing out about these things so much. 
yeah, it's, it, or, or maybe maybe this should be maybe this should be kind of like because some people say like bullet hell are kind of like meditative as well, you know, like relaxing. Maybe we should we should get her to bullet hell as well. So about well, the flow state, that's right, that's right. Um, okay, so this is working so far so good. So far so good. So I think... Okay, we have to undo. Let's think about the undo later. Um, Key-based level generation is actually something that we did. So let's um, think about, let's think steps through. Sai, so just think I would. It would be nice to see the completed Halo for a few t few ticks. I think. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's the slide. Okay. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, juice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Uh, I want to make a nice animation. It's like the Halo will start turning and spinning, and then maybe shrink to a ball or something, and then fly out or something. Like there's gonna be stuff happening. It's just I'm just like um, trying to cover the, all the bases. Just making sure that, yeah, they're, they're still hanging out at, at that store. No, 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 it's good, it's good. It's good to keep, I'm, I appreciate the feedback. Um, because I could have forgotten about things like that for sure. Um, so it's good to have like, um, to hear other people's opinion to kind of like keep you, uh, to kind of like have the feedback that I'm on the right track, you know. So do do um, do continue with the feedback. Um, so we, I just want to make sure. What, I wanted to look at something in my in my cell phone, but I forgot. Um, all right, history backend. So um, yes, yeah, save history to a disk. Uh, create new history. And then later, um, new level uh, EU uh, customization. Right. This is breakfast time for the wife and I, so I gotta go, but be lurking. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. No worries. Thank you for the thanks for dropping by. Goodbye. Thanks for stopping. Bye. Good. Um, yeah, okay. So let's do f this thing first and when we have this, uh, we're gonna save it to this. Oh, yeah, also, you'll... Um, UI pass uh, new level customization level customization um, and then deleting okay so also background animation I want to have some in-game bubbles as well. All right. Good. Let us create a new history dot thing. tab as always
No. Go to step no. No, where, where is it? Yeah. Right, that's something that we want to get out. So here, in, when we click on the start button, we are saying if um, left cell is greater than number of histories, Uh, then <clears throat> local h equals we're gonna create a new history entry so far they look like this Something like this. Okay, and the key will be R and D. What's the maximum number Pico eight I can have? So I guess <clears throat> we're not going to have infinite ne levels. Hey, Ryan, the guy, how are you doing? Yeah, not, no worries. Um, so we're not going to have infinite number of levels. We're just going to have 32,767 levels because we are flooring the key. <clears throat> and I'm running with the numerical keys for now. We're gonna think about about these things later. Mm. Yeah. Uh, H. Now this is the the potion the this the situation the the moment the the, the dot where um, we're gonna have a limit on to how many history entries there will be so we're gonna at some point we're gonna start deleting old histories. And this is where we where we have to do this. So I'm going to put it in to do list. Uh, to do list. <laughs> to do list. I'm getting a bit tired. I've been working for a while now. Almost four hours now. No, no, three hours. That's okay. Um, so yeah. Um, max history. I just want to remember that there's going to be a maximum on on the history entries that we're going to have. Something is wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What? Oh, there's a command missing here. So now we can go new, play. We're going to play this this game and then we're gonna go into the main menu and then when we go in here then we see that this has actually already been a, uh, a history and then we can play a new one and I'm gonna play this one I'm gonna go to main menu and then we are here
so we can like continue this this dream forever basically and yeah we might add some meta goals like you have to continue have a history of so and so and they all have to be completed and then there's gonna be like a uh, I don't know. You did it. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank But the, the problem is like we don't really, right now we don't really have a lot of tools to create more content here. It's just like the same puzzle just randomized all over again. So um, yeah, I don't want to do collectibles. I don't want to do that, yeah. I, I feel like it gets very quickly, very, um, how do you call it? A very mobile, mobile game here, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like unlock this, unlock this, claim this reward. You know, I don't want. To, I just want to. to people want. If you want to continue playing this game, they can, and they can go back to previous uh, levels that they found challenging. But I don't want them to be too obsessive about it. Uh, maybe like a. There's going to be a vague goal, but like overall goal but uh, there won't be a big pressure that like if you finish the game once it, it should be like okay you did it great you know um yeah okay so adding works now it's all about saving the history to the disk again looking uh, what my my family is doing Oh, they're on the way. All right, I think I will call it uh, quits for um, for this session, and I will return in the evening. I'm going to finish up writing stuff to the disk, or like to the save file, um, and finish the history stuff. And then we're going to think about implementing the undo. And or maybe the undo is com comes even later because this is not so important. Um, so we'll rather what we do then afterwards is we're gonna do a level UI pass. Because at this point, if we do the level UI pass, I can um, create a prototype and send it to Gruber Music and then he can maybe do a pass on the music as well. Um, that would be swell. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you for hanging out with me and hang thank you for for um, for the chat discussion um, and I will be back in the evening with where we finish up the history backend and all the other stuff. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>
uh, the history backend means that you know um, we have this level selection screen. It looks like level selection screen, and <clears throat> we want to maybe write it to to the disk. Things are getting destroyed in the kitchen. Okay. You can play the games. So let's open up. Can we open up a new tab? Oh, we cannot open up a new tab. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I mean, we can. We can. I'm gonna call it IO. Yo! <laughs> Yo! Uh, then I'm gonna pull up um, Pico 8 Wiki because I always forget. I always forget. I should have the, the cheat sheet, maybe. The cheat sheet would also help me. Um, oh man. Something like F get? No, no, no. F, F get? F get? No. M get, M set, S get. No. What is F get? Flag. Okay. Oh man. Persistent. Data maybe? Card data, that's what I'm looking for. Card data. All right, let's set card data ID. Do, do. I'm gonna go to card data and I'm gonna set the ID to shape of mind. That's pretty unique, I would say. Let me, let me pull up. What did we use? We had we had some kind of... What did we use when we did the... Uh, cherry bomb, I want to see. I'm gonna open up another Pico 8. We just call it cherry bomb. Okay, okay. So I'm fine calling it shape of mind. Uh, right, and what is next step? D set, D set and D get, data set, data get. I guess, I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. So function D load or or his load. Is to reload. H, let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. This is... Save. Jesus. I'm trying so hard. I'm trying so hard to keep this family friendly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry so much. It's, the streams are, are an exception. The streams are an exception. <laughs> Hey, hey, Red Red Rexon, Red Rex soon. I are doing. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh man. 
Right. So let us think about about some about some things. If I could remember correctly, we have um, sixty four values. Yeah, sixty four values. Uh, time for some some math. 64 values, am I right? Sixty-four values. Um, now how many values do we need per history entry? I think the number is where is it? Oh no, it's in tab number zero. There we go. So we have three values per history entry. We could boil them down a little bit. We could like merge tries with score maybe. Um, yeah, but because we maybe say like, okay, we're gonna start counting tries at some point, right? But but I wanna maybe maybe actually do the opposite. I want to actually save a little bit more data in case like to future-proof our system. So we can have, we can save more information about, for example, something that we are not thinking about now, like we have a vague idea, but we don't, haven't actually implemented it now, is this idea that there might be difficulties, right? The different, different level difficulties. Do you sleep XD? Well, I, I I, I, would, I would ask you the same things, Nojia. You're always there when I'm streaming. <laughs> I'm, which I'm happy about, don't get me wrong. Also, I'm not gonna be streaming for too long this evening. Just like, I wanna just implement maybe this and then, yeah, okay. So you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking. <laughs> am, am I right? Uh, I'm thinking, what are you doing this stream? Well, I'm doing, um, I do the to-do list is, um, I'm saving the, oops, not this. I'm saving um, this part, the history of, of uh, the progress, basically the level structure, you could say that. I want to save this into a, a local file. And I'm trying to figure out kind of like a data structure for it. So my current thought is four. Four pieces of information per um, per history entry and then maybe like 10 inch history entries. So we could technically could do 16, but I, that seems a bit crazy because uh, there might be also some global information that I would love to store. So for example, I might want to store how many um, tries and how many victories um, there were globally, you know? So uh, I might not, not want to, you know, access every individual entry, right? Yeah, okay, so So, how does D get to work again? Oh God, I always forget. Okay, you just get D get. Okay. So if we're trying to get D get, if D get zero equals zero, then end. Uh, in this case. Um, yeah, this is, we're gonna reset everything and we're gonna go do H save. And then we're gonna return. When we're gonna H, uh, H save, we're gonna D set. And so the first entry is basically gonna be like, um, it's gonna be all about, um, oh wait, D set zero dot comma one, that's how it works, right? Um, the f entry number zero is going to be all about um, just flagging the save file as, um, you know, something has been saved in save file because sometimes it's kind of hard to tell. 
I'm just make, gonna make sure that so it, look, it looks so dark today. Well, I guess on the, on the camera maybe. Um, and later on, I think I just want to leave some entries for me to, um, so I can do something with them if I need to. Again, so maybe to save global progress. And then that leaves me with six entries. It's still enough. Okay, good. And then we're gonna go four. I equals one to hashtag this history. No, it is not the last day. <laughs> Why would you think that? Did I say anything like that? Uh, the game jam will go to uh, for one one more week. It's gonna be a busy week, so I want to kind of get ahead if I can. Okay, so we're gonna go something like D set, D set, D set. We're gonna do three D sets. Uh, this is gonna be key. This is gonna be this. This is gonna be this. Uh, let me maybe also do like something in local H equals history I. Something like this. Hmm. Uh, we're gonna go from one to ten. We're actually always gonna write ten histories. Very important aspect. Because if for some reason the number of histories decreases, I want to overwrite old histories. Uh, I think that's important. Uh, and then we're gonna go, if i is smaller equals hashtag history, then else. Something like this. Now here we're gonna use, this is awfully, oh no, actually something we can do is, oh, we can, we can, ha, look at this. We're gonna be smart. I think this could be this can be a bit smarter. Uh, let us figure out what we're gonna write. Um, there we go. dot key dot score dot tries and then a secret fourth thing <laughs> um yeah i'm writing uh, like the, the fourth number we're not going to use but maybe later on and again there's a way of combining them together and we're going to take advantage of that thing if we ever need to Um, right, and in, and then it's gonna be in the default H. I think the whole process so far was really interesting. My first chance to see it live. I can't imagine what else you would add to it. Um, you mean to the game? Oh, I can imagine a lot of things. Um, yeah, again, uh, one, like for example here in this case, definitely uh, difficulty um, level. 
Uh, another thing that you could add, I was actually thinking about this, um, you can maybe customize the colors that you, you're you using. Maybe you have like some favorite colors and you can write them maybe in there. So each level maybe has different colors. Or maybe the colors are randomized. But maybe if they randomize, they would be attached to the key. I don't know. Yeah, there's. I think there's there's plenty of, of things you can do. I just want to, you know, I just want to keep my options open. And I think ten for for the history is fine. We can go all the way up to fourteen. Uh, the theoretical maximum is sixteen, and then if we reduce the number of entries per history, we can go even further. But I don't think it's necessary. I had some ideas of what the overall goal of playing the game could be, and that is creating like kind of like a perfect history, create, um, creating a history of ten soft levels that could be a cool cool goal so to speak and then you will get like a par rating like this is your average number of moves you have you, you use per um per level <sighs> okay I, I crave to get myself to the point of saving loading data. I don't know, it's it's not my favorite part of the process, I have to say. It's fine, it's just... It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of like shuffling numbers around that you already have. I don't know, it's, it's not, not that exciting like particles, you know. Particles are fun, you can see something on a screen. And yeah, and also like something doesn't work, you often don't know what, because you don't see it. Yeah, yeah, there's lots, there's lots of work le uh, left. Okay, so we create like this kind of like empty uh, history object. And if i is smaller or equal than history, then we actually load an actual history object in it. And then we are gonna write a history object into, into our save game. That's basically the, the idea. And then, we do the same, but in reverse when we're loading. Uh, oh yeah, no, one more thing. This is not, yeah, we have to figure out this. So it's gonna be like something like nine. Uh, now it's gonna be 10 plus I minus one local uh, HI equals oh, I'm getting too hot already oh, um, like the, the, the this thing is getting too hot oh I'm really having difficulties regulating my heat um, my temperature I mean Right, something like this, and then like ten plus, right? Ten plus, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna go high, high plus one, high plus two, high plus three. All right, now this is this is now something that we reverse. <clears throat> so we definitely calculate this. We're gonna go D get um hi. Yeah, yeah, okay. D get high. D get D get high plus one plus no no this is just high. High plus one high plus two. Although Yeah no. We have to do it a bit differently. Um, 
how h1, h2, h3, h4 equals We load this into variables first. <clears throat> and only do it if, if h1 is not equals one or h2 is not equals uh, zero, I mean, zero or h one of those is not zero. Well, actually, already the tries. If the tries are zero, then we kind of already know, right? Well, maybe we don't need that and then. Okay, well, let's, let's try it like this. Because if there, there can't be zero tries. If um, they get high, plus two is zero, is not zero, then. And then we're gonna get this, and we're gonna bump it at, well, we actually don't even have to create it, like we can, yeah, we can go history, uh, no, no. Oh gosh, it's it's getting a bit late. It's getting a bit late. It's get. I sometimes need some time. I will make mistakes, Roonies. It's fine. It's fine. History equals flop flop. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go into here and we're gonna go H load. Hey, you. Why, why, uh, why, is it while AI or while al? Ah, so much better. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Oh, wait. No. Fingers crossed. Let's do this. <sighs> Don't eat this. Something stupid. I can already feel it. I can feel the stupidity of it. Some kind of character is missing somewhere. There we go. Of course, it was stupid. <laughs> thank you, PCK404. Thank you for having my back. Oh, look at this, it works. <gasps> oh, 
And now we have a thing and that it has keys and now we can create a new one. So good. Okay, now we need to save it. And we're gonna save every time we start. Definitely, absolutely, and totally. So, when we do a start game, when we change the history, we're gonna do an age save. How would player know about the Halo in the first place? We're gonna do a tutorial. Oh, I should put that maybe on a to-do list. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's going to be the tutorial. Oh yeah, it's something else I wanted to maybe do is when talking about juice. Halo dots? Question mark. Yeah, we want to maybe do like dots indicating that there could be a halo um, uh, if it's empty. <clears throat> this is such a nice starting screen. I really love the waves, the wavies. It's amazing, I'm so good at this game, suddenly. It's crazy. It's so easy. <laughs> ah. Okay, and now we're gonna reset the card. And it's still there! Ah! Oh, I'm not sure if the key is correct. One, three, seven, two, one. No, no, the one, three, seven, two, one. Okay, good. So we now have like a library of the different uh, games we played. Now we're gonna play this one. Mm. Now we have two tries and if we reset the card, uh, it's still two tries. Good. We are saving the history to disk. Um, yeah, maybe also something that we're gonna think about is... Tutorial... Um, and game meta structure. Um, global stats. That's always fun to think. Like, like you know, how many tries you did in general. Um, do you bake the halo into the spreadsheet every frame or only on the drop? Uh, on every frame. Um, it would be technically possible, maybe, to improve the performance if I didn't do that. Uh, it is not necessary, so I don't have to do it. And I um, the animation of the Halo is a lot easier if I do it. And the animation of the Halo would get very, very complicated when, when I do it. Especially uh, long chains, like the ones that are um, more then like six chains are okay but if we had 12 or 18 chains then animating the halo would get really complicated what right now it's a guy it's, it doesn't matter it's a pretty pretty straightforward man look the, the further we get the, the longer to do to do list gets it's kind of funny um yeah i also want to do, do max history that's kind of weird concept but the idea is basically that if we um, add our eleventh uh, history, that we delete the history number number zero. Uh, 
And I have some vague ideas on how we could pull this off later on in like a meta structure, but for now I just want to do it like, you know. So we're gonna add history. And I'm gonna go if hashtag history is greater than uh, 10, then del e history comma uh, one. Uh, YKWWBC, if the completed halo appeared like a strip of paper set on fire in several places, it should be manageable with a clip and several circles, provided the big halo presses over frames. Yeah, but I, I don't want to... Uh, fire sounds crazy violent. Also difficult to do fire with a white background because there's no way to make it glow. Yeah. I, I don't want to do that. That's that's a cool idea. Um, but I see the... Like the um... Man, there's just so many <laughs> things flooding my head. I have to uh, organize my thoughts. <clears throat> when you are doing corporate design and you are making logo animations, there are certain things that you are not supposed to do with the logo. And one of the things that quite often you're not supposed to do with the logo when you're animating a corporate logo is, for example, to make the logo fall apart or disassemble it somehow. That's quite often not allowed. Um, why? Because like what that kind of animation kind of implies that, you know, the logo is kind of like stands in for the company. And if you show the company being like loose set of pieces that don't really fit together, you know, that kind of stuff, then that's kind of, that kind of sends the wrong message of what, what the company is. And so the lesson that we should draw from that that idea is that um, you can do all sorts of cool animations it's possible there's like a wide infinite sea of possible animations uh, each of the animations carries its own meaning and and implications that are kind of like you don't really like, oh, this is what it means, but it's kind of like your brain picks up on some cues and it sends vibes, so to speak. Like there's vibes associated with different animations. And over the course of, like, in, for example, in the game, those different animations will then eventually, you know, create like a general vibe of what, what's happening in the game. So if I, if you suggest like, okay, I'm creating a strip of paper and then this paper then burns up, um, that suggests to me that we're destroying things. That we're spending something, right? Um, and the idea of this um, game is that we are, you are in kind of a dream or like a meditation and you're like organizing your thoughts or memories. Um, you're creating something or you are putting things into place to store them away, to, to hold on to them. So burning them up feels feels like the wrong message. Uh, making them disappear is generally something that sends that wrong message. Uh, something I'm planning is to make them, to make the halos spin very fast. Maybe the colors can start blurring or something. Maybe you can do something cool there. And then make them shrink like into a ball. And then the ball, like, like the, the balls you see on the on the, the bubbles in the background or, or the bubbles here here that you see or the, the, the dreams here. And then you will have the spheres, little balls um, also rotating around the head inside the, the, the halo. So you're kind of like building up new memories, new dreams basically uh, throughout, every, throughout every level. And at the end you will have three spheres and then that corresponds accidentally to the three chimes that, uh, that the level uh, uh, end level screen uh, um, music has. So that would be kind of like a nice, everything sticks together, everything 
senses the, the, the same vibes. Um, and that's something that I, I kind of like, that's important for me, that everything is kind of like, feels like it's out of the same, uh, it's made by the same person <laughs> and uh, with the same thought behind it. Halo Reset is very placeholder right now. The player deserves to see the completed Halo for at least a few frames. I agree. Call me impatient if you wish. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. YKWWBC means you know what would be cool. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, no, I'm definitely thinking about, about what to do with the Halo uh, navigation, but it's like there's a lot of uncertainties about the game. This is actually something that causes me the most problems. I know I can pull off a cool Halo animation. People already like the Halo anyway. I'm already kind of like preaching to the, the choir when I do something with the Halo, right? Um, I this is the thing that I'm I'm not so sure about. How to engage people with the game in the long term, and how to create a structure that communicates the right ideas on how people are supposed to play the game on the long term. Something I do absolutely don't want to happen is somebody booting up the game, or maybe as a streamer, playing one level, finishing it, and be like, I, I guess I play the next level and the next level, and then like, how, how, how I don't know, how, how far does it go, you know? That's something that would be kind of awkward if, if it, the game was kind of like not really clear about where it's heading. So I want to make sure this is probably going to uh, add some more elements to the screen to communicate clearly where this is heading. Because also, again, like we have to get this, this path, we're creating basically, or charting a path, right? We, there's like, a, we're riding a wave. So the question is naturally, where is the wave going? Um, yeah, so something that's something that we are thinking about. So I had, had this idea that maybe the wave loops back on itself, so so the entire level structure would be a, a big halo, so to speak. Yeah, let's let's think about that. Mm. Oh, I also also want to add another thing to the to-do list, which is. Reset data menu item. I can do it right now. You know what? I'm going to do it right now. Um, the thing I'm going to put in a to-do list is a reset data um, dialog box. So like if somebody selects rest data, then you will see like, are you really sure? Yes, no dialog box. That's something that we don't have right now. Uh, we're not going to implement right now, but we might implement later. And H reset is gonna be pretty simple. History will just be a set to zero, and then and I'm gonna do it in H save. Hmm, maybe we we don't not maybe that's not even worth it. M and e, we're gonna call it M and U reset. Um, I'm gonna do it because it's just like this history setting. Yeah, we're gonna just yeah yeah yeah. It's okay. We're gonna just do, gonna do a H save. Uh, and here we're gonna do history H save, and then very important, go to main menu. So. Um, 
let me s figure out how the menus work again. And there we go. Oh, the start game? Yeah, but we want to go, go to start. Now that's in it. There we go. Now in start game we have this. But where else do we have menu item? Do we ever delete those? Uh, yeah, an end game we're deleting them. That's good. So yeah, that's good. Um, and I'm guessing we don't need this because we have this, right? They were probably overwritten. I think I think that's okay. Um. Erase the data. reset a thing can you just reset no not go to start. what am i doing what am i doing i'm a bit tired i am a bit tired i it, it's 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 seeing yourself make mistakes and being like whoa where did that come from you know can we do that can we just reset is that possible So let's go start and then we're going to erase the safety. Are you ready? Woo! It did not reset. Whoa. What, what does reset do? I thought it would be reset. Oh, undocumented feature. Oh, okay. It's not does not do what I thought it would be doing. <laughs> Interesting. Um, go to start. I would say. What is happening? Uh oh. I think something broke. Hey, squid light. Oh, I, I, I broke something. I don't know what. Maybe I'm never. Uh, uh, what? I think I might have deleted something. Go to go to start. I think I might have deleted go to start here. No, it's here. What? What happened? Is it this menu item? Is that the problem? No.
Ah, the reset is still here, but that shouldn't be a difference. Was the function at the bottom also called go to start? Oh, that's true. That's true. Good catch. Way, way, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have double names for the. Oh, man. It's, we're supposed to be man menu reset. Oh, man. How embarrassing. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so. We're gonna create some. Um, some menu items, okay, and then we're gonna go erase save data. Oh, see, we have restart menu and you're still here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, that's not, not right. Why is, oh, because, <laughs> oh man. Oh, I shouldn't be coding. <laughs> I shouldn't be coding, maybe. Oh. Okay, but um, we observed a problem. What, again, continue watching, yeah. Oh yeah. I was I was confused. And then I guess it's UI. What are the functions that we're triggering here? What are what where where are they? What what is this even? Uh, start game, start game, go to start. Oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah, so here we absolutely have to have menu item uh, two and three. So let's see if this works. If you play and then go to main menu, then we have erase safe data here, okay. And now erase save data, we are here. All right. Uh, we do have the max history. We haven't tested the max history. Let's test the max history thing. Left cell is nil. I think I know the problem. Um, if I create a... <laughs> I already know what the problem is. Here, when we're deleting the history, we need to left cell minus equal one because we have one less level. This looks easy. Yeah, I, I toned down diffi difficulty. I was struggling. <laughs> okay, so how many do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that is eleven technically. But when you play it, we are still here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
Something I wanted to maybe add, and that's the first thing that we could actually save, is... Um, We're gonna call it his off, history offset. I'm gonna set it to zero. Um, I wanna always, yeah, here when we draw, I wanna always go debug one equals his off. Now this is actually something that we can save and load. So we're gonna go his off equals zero. And then when we're loading, and then here is also something that we can reset, yeah. And when we're loading, we're gonna go his off equals d get one. And when we're saving, uh, we're gonna set d set d set one his off. Um, and what is his off? Well, um, here in the draw function. Here in a draw function. So much code, my brain is heating up. Yeah, <laughs> I know that's that feeling, certainly. So here, what are we doing here? This is, this is just, oh yeah, this is just the big wavy line. Um, let's go to mycin. Uh, I'm not sure about the mice. Uh, we have to stick. Whoa, I lost contact. Um, Right, right. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Huh. So the idea is like to have the history offset <clears throat> so the wavy line always continues. That was the idea. So I so here it will be I plus my sin multiplied by spacing. Not not my sin. Um, his off. But I think, yeah, I think that's, that's, that's basically it. Let's try that. So it's zero now, we're gonna add one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, we haven't increased um, his off. So 
when we yeah here his of plus equals one right so as so you see the um, blue is on on the upswing but I, I guess that doesn't really matter okay if now we go to the main menu oh, oh see it's, oh this is the <laughs> you see you see it works it's just <laughs> it's just super weird do you live code sessions oh agent APM Actane has spoken a wonderful insight while watching me code for a while. My, my orientation, my own code looks to him like wizardry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I mean, that's normal. That's normal. Uh, you're, you know your own code way better than any other person. All right, so his off works here. Now, when we're drawing the wave, that's here. Plus his. Let's try that. Okay, so, so you see, I'm gonna create one. Oh, they didn't save his off. So now, oh, but <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> hmm, not what I wanted. Um, but we're getting there, we're getting there. works now we're gonna create something I'm gonna go main menu and yeah now it works now I cannot go back but maybe that's okay Ooh, I can I can still use ah see th there's a problem here as well uh, we're gonna fix this Hey, Master Majuri. Okay. Um, so we are calculating the mouse, and then we subtract um, his. Uh, really off topic by Final Fantasy 7 Victory Fanfare is worse than other games. Yeah, I would say so. Fair. So now it's done a down slope. If I create this, go to the main menu. Uh, yeah, that was down slope, now it's on up slope. Uh, but all of the colors have shifted, so maybe we're gonna um, take care of that. I mean, the colors right now are kind of like fake, but uh, let's do this anyway. Mm. Um, 
um, C minus one plus his off, right? So we create a new blue level here, we play this, we go main menu, we're gonna go back. There was the blue level, now there's a green level. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying the, the, I think that that came out really well nice. Although I, I would love to have the wavies to be also parallax, but it's fine, it's fine, it's what it is. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> getting those bubbles right, especially because you're scrolling left and right and the bubbles are being respawned, that took a, that took a little bit. Um, yeah, okay, good. So, but something I don't quite understand is why the hiss off wasn't saved. I thought I'm saving this when I start a game. There's an H S H save. What is the matter? Why you no work? And then here's the start game. I don't understand. I'm gonna create a new one. Go to the main menu and now Create a new one and go to the main menu. And then reset cart. Um, the last key is 1316. Create one. Main menu. 1316, 2036. Uh, reset card. Ah, uh, see? Okay, it saves the, the history, but it doesn't save that one variable. Which is odd to me. This is very confusing. I do not understand. See, that's that's why I don't like doing this kind of data stuff. It's, it's like tracking down the problems is can be sometimes so difficult. I mean, it's not difficult, but we're gonna we're gonna find it out eventually. But it's just like uh, it's sometimes difficult to see what the problem is, you know. Okay, I should it should be one, but clearly it's not one. Somehow it got reset along the way. Oh, maybe 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 I his off. Maybe there's a. Oh yeah yeah no. Hmm. 
There we go. Okay, okay, good. I'm gonna create one. Um, main menu now, it should be two. Uh, yep, going upwards and yellow, reset card. Yep, okay, going upwards and yellow. Good. Okay. So yeah, I just programmed like what I had in mind and we're gonna see what the problem with that is and we're gonna make it better. But yeah, history backend is kind of solved. Um, yeah, I think this is gonna be, this is gonna be, a, this was just like a one hour stream. Um, because the thing is that is coming up now is gonna be another level UI pass. You know what, let's, let's put some glo global data, why not? Let's put some, let's also save some global stats. Um, and for that, maybe I will do some screen design off screen, um, not on the stream, but I just like, you know, just hang out a little bit, maybe on iPad, not on a, on a surface and try to do like level design. So, because I want to have like a UI to maybe <clears throat> uh, select different difficulties. And um, yeah, maybe deleting UI, like the, the delete level, but actually, hmm. are those levels gonna go to infinity? I mean, that's currently the idea. Uh, you can have histories, you can save a history of 10 levels, but you can continue forever, playing forever. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know about that, but I definitely want to see uh, uh, the deleting levels. It's not, not something I'm sure about, but I'm just gonna, okay, I'm gonna leave it at, at question mark. Maybe that's something I'm gonna do later. Um, then so tomorrow it's going to be all about that UI th stuff. Uh, we're going to try to implement a simple undo. Maybe just like a, you know, two-step, uh, three-step, five-step undo. Uh, just a couple of undo steps. Um, and there's also some connectors. I saw some Discords. Uh, one uh, one our, our Discord uh, users uh, actually posted some suggestions on what kind of connections to do. And there are some good ones there. So we're going to look at those tomorrow as well. Um, and then uh, it's gonna be back to the Halo mines, <laughs> and I'm gonna uh, we're gonna actually, yeah. Oh, a score screen, screen design, also, awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna maybe do a screen design for when the level is finished, and also maybe we're gonna also start working on the Halo clear juice, something that uh, a lot of you were interested about. Join me tomorrow, uh, and on the regular time, uh, I will we will try to get as far as we can. Thank you for joining me this evening. See you next time around. Bye-bye. <laughs>